Hello and welcome to the Womb Centered Healing Podcast. I'm Sama Morningstar and I have Joy with me here today. We're going to be talking about womb art. So Joy and I worked together uh, uh, a while back for some with some womb work and womb healing work and um, and that uh, right about that same time is when you started making womb art. Is that right, Joy? And and you want you were going to show us some of that. Um, well, yeah, actually, you are the one that introduced me to this whole womb love process. Mm -hmm. And I did all kinds of things with you. We did dance, womb dance, and uh, I, I used your teas. I made your, I shared your teas with all my friends. I made like kilos and kilos, and I, I didn't make money off of it, but I, I resold it to all my friends during the women's circles uh, to help feed our blood. And um, what else do we do? Um, yeah, you, you asked this question that's still very much um, still with me. Uh, you asked online, you said, how is your womb feeling today? <laughs> and I honestly, I'm sorry, I'm still working on connecting with that because I don't know how my womb is doing today. <laughs> but at least I asked the question and I can think about it. And um, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then you started making womb art right about that time. You showed me your first one. Maybe you can show us here on the video. Um, and you weren't sure whether that was before or after we started uh, conversing and, and considering and reflecting on how our wombs were feeling together. <laughs> but it definitely came from, from you, the, the drawing. I'm not sure if... Because you, you were asking all these questions online. I just wanted to make a very short introduction. My name is Joy, and I live in Geneva in Switzerland in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been following Sama through um, our common uh, passion for trees and tree sisters. And uh, that's where we met. Mm -hmm. And then since then, uh, we've done sessions together one-on-one. -on -one. We've done quite a few calls. And uh, I'm still fascinated by womb work in general and i'd love to do the training for the the yoni steaming that's really something i really i'm i haven't still haven't done but i want to get into and yeah they're all and they're actually really amazing um because i've been circling now since 2012 with women and also sometimes with men but um yeah just like the creativity of our womb and and feeding that creativity uh it's something that uh, that feeds my soul because um, yeah because 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 it's our <laughs> the home of creativity mm -hmm. and it's yeah it's it really um, somehow art being able to draw is more helpful than trying to think and process about how my womb is feeling today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's easier to make a drawing uh, than well, I think this. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, well, I, what I was going to say is that um, our wombs talk with us in a variety of different ways. It's, you know, so for many, for different women, it, it communicates, our womb communicates in different ways. And for me, oftentimes, it's through imagery. It's through, you know, symbols. And so that's just as valid and reclaiming the validity of that is an important part of this womb centered healing of saying, you know what, these symbols are just as important as a dissertation in language, right? <laughs> so do share what, what is this um, swirling spiral that you have here? Um, so this was before, this was right before um, the, the first womb drawing where I was actually trying to you know, express myself through my womb. Uh, but this is very much, I don't know, it definitely makes me think of a, a womb. It's just, it's a very simple spiral. And I did that in February, 2017. Um, this was a, this one here is a shamanic voyage, but you can't see it really well. And it's not, I was trying to put it into drawing. If you but hold it's it too... close to the camera and hold still for a second, I think we can see. So I see a path, maybe a river, and there's a deer with antlers and some trees and a bird and a person. Yeah, and there's a there's a witch and her cauldron there, and there's an eagle. Uh-huh. And there's a cliff. 
Oh, yes. But I, I was supposed to finish it. I never, I never did. I never got around to it. I never came back to it. Mm -hmm. I did like a draft, but I didn't get into it. Mm -hmm. So this was the first, um, the first intentional womb um, art. Um, and this, this comes up because I've done quite a few drawings since. This is like kind of the beginning. Mm -hmm. but they all have the same thing. So there's the connection to the earth, the roots, and then there's always an opening up mm -hmm. towards the, the source. Mm -hmm. And something that I, I personally interpret is that this is also uh, the development of my voice. Mm -hmm. I've been singing a lot. And uh, this is like, that's, that's the womb where it's, there's the creation and then it goes up into the voice. Mm -hmm. And that, that comes out a lot in other drawings. Um, so that was in April, 26th of April, 2017. And then this was definitely the first one that, um, that I did in connection with like some, we had done some sessions together and that, that's what came out. So this is, this is more of a spiral. Mm -hmm. And then we definitely have the, the connection, the roots, but this is more red. Mm -hmm. Well, the other one's red too. The voice always comes out blue, and then we have the the tr the 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 trice uh, not the tricycle the the triscale in French. I'm not sure how to pronounce it in English. It's that symbol. It might be called the triple spiral. I'm not sure. There might be another term. For that, that one. Yeah. And another womb spiral. I put this uh, glossy shiny glue but it didn't come out very nice it actually looks more like splotches now uh -huh. that one's kind of messy this was the this was the solstice the 21st of uh, june uh, 2017 and later on it was like a firecracker mm -hmm. and it later on uh it was the date there was that that explosion in marseille um with the with the um what's it uh, whatever the terrorists whatever that's another subject this one is faded i did this one with a uh match a burnt match ah. so there's a tree this is winter art it's like cocooning uh -huh. and there's a woman there in the womb underground in the in the root of the tree yeah right and she's like centered and and happy and in her in her bubble Beautiful. But that's also faded a bit. Well, yeah, it, just the charcoal could get wiped away. And then here we are in the 2018. That's a, a woman tree. A woman <laughs> tree, a tree woman. A tree woman. And then actually this one, uh, this is the one that I posted everywhere for the Tree Sisters. Um, so there's three women holding hands and they're connected with their roots and they're also connected with the branches. And uh, this one I shared a lot. That one's been all over. Um, and then uh, this is kind of, which, what's the date here? I didn't put a date on this one. So this is, um, A girl, a woman, she, there's a, a red line going down to the roots. And, and then there's the, the different. What are the words that you, that you have written around? <clears throat> so this says, I am, I am peace. I know my limits. I am light, the one above. Mm -hmm. I make time for myself. I am love. And then in the bottom, at the bottom, it says, I am grounded. I am connected to Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So this is so inspiring to me to see how this can evolve, you know, as we attend to the womb space. But can I put my volume? So, yeah, so what I was wanting to share is it's so beautiful to see how the 
art, the symbolic art, um, represents the connections that that happen when we start to pay attention to the womb. And I'd love to hear more about, for example, the rootedness that comes up in, in several of these drawings with the, with the roots down into the earth. And I'm curious as to, as you've drawn those and reflected on those and felt that rootedness, what has changed for you in your life? Oh, um, well, that's why I work with trees. Um, I'm a very airy person and I'm a water sign. And um, if you look at my astral theme, it's more fire and air. So if you mix fire, air, and water, you get thunderstorms, which is all up in the sky. And um, I am continually looking for grounding, either with meditations or with yoga or with um, walking in the nature, sitting on the ground. Um, it so happens that all my very close friends are earth signs, super down to earth, super rational. Um, I also have air friends and water friends, but the, the anchors that are really uh, supporting me in my life as close friends are often earth signs. Mm -hmm. um, and should then, I show you another one? Oh yes, please do. There's, there's a lot more okay, <laughs> I have to get I through that. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yes, please go. So this one, uh, this was inspired from Glastonbury. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a goddess image. Mm -hmm. So she's there in the middle. She definitely has the roots. <laughs> There's the connection again. The blood and connected to the earth. Mm -hmm. And then connection to... And there's a, that's like a, a goddess tree. <laughs> and I'm curious, what did the words say? Let's see, I can see. The words say... Um, yeah. I am fearless, full of faith. I am soft and kind with myself and others. I go with the flow of the universe. Beautiful. So these are always uh, positive affirmations. I could usually, I would say the opposite about myself. Um, right. So, so you made that as a med medicine for, for that. So I, I, I say the opposite in, in my in, in, in when I do, when I, when I circle or that's something that, that, because we, we can be all things. We can be soft. We can be kind with ourselves. We can be love. We can be light, but we can also be the opposite of all those things. And we have to, you know, focus on, we become what we focus on. Mm -hmm. Like the story with the, the two wolves, you feed the, the, the stronger one is the one that you feed the most. Right. And so when you put these, when you make these art pieces, do you put them up around the house to remind you? I do. I put them on my altar. Okay. All right. So, and I put them in, in places that are like intimate for me mm -hmm. because it's often, <laughs> it's something that, yeah, men can be quite critical towards because they don't, often we make fun of things we don't really understand or it's quite easy and they see the blood and they're like, that's disgusting or, you know, but <laughs> Not just men. for me, it's, I mean, there's plenty of women that are still having that mindset too, that are still, you know, buying into that whole idea. Um, so it's, it's wise of you to, to be careful who you share that with. So I fully support you with that. This one's uh, very recent. It's uh, the 10th of January, mm -hmm. 2020. Mm -hmm. So this one's this year. And again, we have the connection to the earth in water. So there is water. Mm. There's the spiral mm -hmm. and there's the tree. <laughs> All these recurring symbols. The, the branches, um, connect to the universe mm -hmm. that can also be hair mm -hmm. i love how our hair can be branches tree branches 
you know and then there tell me fascinating these these symbols that that keep coming up for you naturally they're just so universally nourishing and you know i can i can like teach a whole course about you know these symbols to introduce people to them but i love it that you, it's just arising naturally i mean they're so primal and we so long to connect with these symbols and then mm. you know and you've probably you're familiar with the symbology anyway but that it just keeps coming up to keep asserting and keep affirming and keep attending to these symbols is so beautiful so yeah show the next I love it. Get my get it. I'm getting my own private art show, but we're gonna share it. With the <laughs> this is uh, Yoni Woom Art. <laughs> nice. Okay. So there's my my beautiful flower. I've got a few of those, which I'll share with you soon. Um, in an, that's in another book. And this and this was the pyramid. Yeah, that one is a pyramid. Uh huh. Though it started with this and this symbol and then I added the other colors and there's a lot of wording as well and it, the pyramid is a bunch of words mm -hmm. so this was uh, for a year it was it was for I think it's a shame I didn't put the date it's <laughs> I put the date on half of my art but not on all of it so sometimes you do artwork that's like the start of the year kind of like a vision board sort of thing. oh I've been doing that for five or six years now uh -huh. so uh, I we I'll do well art as well as um, I'll do the overview of the year where well, we'll look back in the year before huh. and then and then I make a to-do list or uh, what I want to manifest in the next year mm -hmm. and it's so cool because every year I keep going back to these lists and now it's become a thing and I've actually introduced it and created circles with men and women in, in um, uh, extinction rebellion Okay. Yeah. So that you're making art uh, to bring in the new year, but also to reflect on the year that's passed. Beautiful. Yeah, and and visualizing. Um, so we do this. I need to find it for you. I'll, I can show you. I have to find it though. I don't have it here. Um, I did that once in a circle uh, where you draw the whole year and you make a circle. You make you cut it in twelve, and then you think about all the events that happened that year, the good, the bad, the, the difficult moments, and they all have different colors and symbols. And you can do it as you like, but once you've done it, then you, the next year you're, it gets much better. And then the year, you can really get into it. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. So it's like a year mandala, uh, the mandala of the year. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, different than making a list or like working in squares when you when you see the circle of the year you can turn it around and you can see the difficult parts of the year you, you can actually visualize your year in in hindsight so it's it's very interesting to do it's it's mm -hmm. i love i love that Beautiful. um i just wanted to share the words here so here we have a uh, positive energy fulfillment manifestation and then here the pyramid says peace, gentleness, softness, in French, la douceur, mm -hmm. which is softness, being and walking in love. And then down here at the bottom, there's faith. Mm -hmm. One. And then this one I did this winter. It was in December. Okay. Sorry, I got a call. No worries. We can see you now. I hope he won't call back. Okay. Um, this is, a, well, there's the tree in the winter mm -hmm. and it's an A4 paper. So most of the, most of the drawing is in the roots. And I, I actually, it's a sketch, but there's three different people in the roots. One is reading a book. Uh, this one's lying upside down, head down feet up and this one is in a is it the child's the fetus position mm -hmm. in a circle just taking a nap so that one's about resting and taking time in the winter and and cocooning and uh, uh what's it called hibernating hibernating hibernation and and many people can um 
you know, in the, in the menstrual wisdom circles, we talk about menstruation being like the winter of our cycles every month. So it's not just winter of the year, but it can be that same kind of cocooning and resting. In fact, it's highly encouraged for that kind of cocooning underground. I mean, that looks like a menstruation um, <laughs> guidebook to me, that piece, <laughs> you know, like let it go underground, curl up, read a book. You know, <laughs> maybe not the upside down part, but. <laughs> well, you know, when you rest your legs against the wall yes, to yes. bring the blood into your, yes. it's, it's really, it's healthy. That is. Um, and I would like to introduce that on a world level, everybody, everywhere in the world, the first day of women's periods that they get to stay home and not go to work. Yes. And that becomes a thing that, that everywhere in the whole world. I'm just. You know, I would say not just the first day. I would say three days. Ideally, yeah. But if we could already start with one and get recognition that, yes, it's okay to stay home and rest, and that's the best thing I can do for myself, like that, that in itself, just the idea that it would be accepted as norm, and that would be your, amazing. And for our creativity and our ability to do our work the rest of the month. Because that not having those days of rest diminishes our ability to, to do whatever it is that we're doing the, re the whole rest of the month. So we're getting less the whole rest of the time. We're able to give less the whole rest of the time. If we don't have that rest. Um, this was, um, I did a shamanic breath work mm. where I went into trance for two and a half hours and this is what came out of it so that's a baby in a womb and the womb space with the blue also looks like the planet earth and it's done in chalk so it's a bit messy did you did did the earth symbolism uh come for you too that 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 looks like the planet uh nope but you're absolutely right you can see and it. you have the dark colors and the the roots at the bottom and uh the yeah. light above and this is a common theme that that we're rebirthing ourselves and the planet at this time that that we're you know in labor <laughs> you know? that's why it's so challenging <laughs> Oh yeah, we're in, we're giving birth. Yeah. We totally are. I'm definitely still in this inside the womb, and I'm emerging. Right. It's the hard part. <laughs> this was another. Um, it was the next day, so that was the first day, uh -huh. and the second day, um, I had to do both drawings because I started off with this. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, just utter darkness and chaos that was huh. very important yeah. and i had to i had to i had to draw that and it had to be black and i <laughs> and i had to cover the whole paper in black right <laughs> and just get it all out uh -huh. and then it transformed into this wow. which is very much the opposite let me yeah. show you like this so uh -huh. there's a hand and love and a feather and like light and just complete love and acceptance. And it says gratitude. That came afterwards. Peace and the date. Okay. Sunday, 15th of December. Mm -hmm. And again, it's that circular womb planetary image right there, too. You can't see it. You don't have it all colored in as blue, but a little bit. Well, um, we were given a paper with a round circle on it. I see. Okay. Just that was an important, and it was all about womb work. I see. The, the whole um, framework was about womb work. And here we have the framework of a woman. So she's at the bottom of the circle, kind of holding the earth up. Yeah. And the earth is, well, the, 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 the circle is a tree. Uh -huh. <laughs> the tree is back. <laughs> In the house the tree is that <laughs> so is that but the tree is very much like a womb yes 
<laughs> is that one that you're you're going to work on some more the one with the woman holding up the earth and the tree yeah i have all these sketches i need to get back into it and then it's true when i actually take time for art i usually make something new mm -hmm. so it's rare that i take the time to go back like if i if i draw uh cards and if i don't write them and put them right in my journal at that moment mm -hmm. the chances are me going back and doing that yesterday about like two or three days ago are very low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I end up not going back. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few more in this other book because I've been doing a few different, holding a few different um, art. This is my other book, but this is mainly writing. Mm -hmm. you have Though I do have a few interesting drawings in here, like this one. That's just a, um, so it's a woman tree and there's the, the, the different chakras. Lovely. And then there's one that I really wanted to show you in this, well, there's a few. There's my Yoni love. <laughs> She's very important. Uh, there's this one. That was just, well, when we were circling, I, I just was playing around with colors and I, Later on in retrospect, I, it looks a lot like another drawing I did, and it's just, it's just playing with colors. But it, for me, it definitely is womb art again. Mm -hmm. With the connection. But I want to show you the Yoni. I have to find it. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. Well, I, while you're looking for it, I can just share what's coming up for me is to share... Um, uh, a little bit more about why we're having this conversation. So um, as, as listeners may know, I've been uh, working on creating the Biomystical Womb Oracle card deck. And my designer and I were, you know, having trouble finding appropriate imagery that we could use in creating the deck. And that got my womb art process started, but it also got me interested in what kind of womb art and what kind of art with these womb-centered themes are other people making, are my friends and, and colleagues and, you know, students and clients, what kind of womb art is people, are people making at, who are actually involved in this kind of process and lo and behold all the you know you and a whole bunch of others so i decided that wait a second this oracle card deck what if it had art from all of these people contributing it's a great idea to to create this deck with these really alive symbols and artwork and that, that really has a connection to the healing energies that are coming through for this deck. And it was like, bingo, you know, <laughs> this is it. And I don't know if you've ever um, seen the um, calendar that comes out every year, the Wee Moon calendar. Have you seen that one? It's uh, been an inspiration for me for many years. And it's a collaborative project just like what I'm describing for this Oracle card deck where um, every year the creators of the calendar choose a theme and send it out and you can submit your artwork and your poetry, your writings and get included in this collaborative book. So yeah, there we go. There she is, the tree, the woman um, right there. And you can kind of see with the curvature of the of where the tree is standing that it's like on the planet too. Like there's a curvature, curvel, curvy, yep. curved line. Like you can feel the roundness of the planet and the rainbow colors. I love these rainbow colors. So yeah, so that was 2016. Wow. This is the one I found her. She's my she's. I've done a, quite a few of these that I've offered to friends. Oh, so wow. this is um this is Yoni Love. <laughs> and it also there she is. Has such She's a heart. A heart. <laughs> right. It's a heart shaped thing. Okay. And it says oh. it says loving myself, loving life, so much love. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. And then it looks like a fruit, like a papaya or something. Yeah. 
or many, many different types of flowers. Yes. Flowers always make me think of Yoni love. Mm -hmm. And then on the same day, I, I drew this one. This is definitely Wumart. Yeah. She's beautiful. Yes. We've got the heart, the spiral, the voice, the connection to earth. Yes, beautiful. I've lost all my papers. They're all over the place now. <laughs> Just like my papers artist. are flying everywhere. Yes. <laughs> You're turning your, your kitchen into an art studio. Yay! Yay. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Oh, look, this is my circle from the, um, uh -huh, this the is year, the, the, year the year circle. Circle. Now, I know a lot of women make, a, make charts like this for the menstrual cycle and track each month in that same way of saying, you know, and actually have it you know, making notes at different times of the month and, and, you know, divvy up the month in that way, um, which is really a wonderful practice too, because you can really get a lot of information from the womb. Have you ever done anything like that? Yep. Yeah. yeah. There's either monthly or daily for the whole month. Mm -hmm. And if you do that a few times a year and then you look back, and you yeah. can see what times of the month you were really full of energy, when you were really like on a positive note, having a great time, mm -hmm. when you, you know, dive into darkness and go into difficult days. Mm -hmm. um, so it's actually really, really cool to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is spiral writing. And I try to do particularly on the solstices and on the equinoxes to, to you know, take an hour for myself and do something mm -hmm. and I uh, wanted to share this I'm gonna finish with this because I think I, <laughs> there's been a lot of information yeah um, but I want to share this because um, because I want to share it because yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm called to do that okay so you're gonna read the spiral writing to us yeah so I wrote this on the 21st of December 2019 okay and this was a few days after moving out of getting separated. It was, it was a very difficult period, but a necessary period to move on. <laughs> so it says, I am grateful to life itself, to my spirit guides, to my intuition, to water and all living things. I claim my power to stand up and be to give myself the space necessary to grow into who I was meant to be in this lifetime. I am peace. I am light, fulfillment, abundance. I am love. I am fire and water. All of the elements. Life force, the power of creation here and now. I am grounded with solid foundations like the roots of a tree connected to the cosmos and Mother Earth, firmly rooted within my core being. I am unstoppable. I am a creator of life and love. Strength, clear overview, compassion. And that's it. Beautiful. That was my spiral writing. So did you for, write from the outside in to the center or did you write from the center out to the out? I started here. Uh-huh. And then and I worked out. And I can just it's, imagine you turning the paper as you go. Yeah. <laughs> just like you would need to to read it. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much, Joy, for show, sharing such, uh, such precious glimpses into your intimate womb art life. It uh, feels so nourishing, and I hope that it inspires other womb-centered healing um, practitioners or even new, new people that are exploring womb-centered healing, that it can be this kind of self-guided artistic if that calls to you practice where just connecting to the womb connecting to these types of symbols that are meaningful to you and making imagery that you can look at and placing it in a place where you can see it and sit and meditate on it such a powerful practice and so nourishing and such a such a wonderful way to um, focus 
on what you're wanting to create in your life and the healing energies that you're wanting to absorb and nourish yourself with and to create them yourself because we sometimes don't have that kind of imagery or or healing energies that are that's being given to us in the world so we have to create it ourselves and and i really uh, appreciate and thank you for for sharing that with us and inspiring us in that way certainly are inspiring me and I hope that um, I'm seeing quite a few of these um, images that you've shared that would be really good candidates for different aspects of the biomystical womb oracle deck. So we can discuss that. And it's very exciting. Yeah. And those interested in contributing art to the collaborative oracle deck, you can um, reach out to me, Sama Morningstar. You can find me on Facebook and reach out there. You can find me at wombcenteredhealing.com and I'll put some links in the in the comments below. And I mean in the um, description of the of the podcast here. And Joy, if anybody wanted to get in touch with you, is there is there a way that you would like to make yourself available to connect with people about womb art? Um, well, you can do it through Facebook. My name is going to be there with the video, this video, I believe. Yeah. I, think I don't have a, well, I, I, I have created a, a tree festival to fundraise for tree sisters. Okay. So it called, it's called Fisty Arbre in French. Um, but yeah, just my name, Joy Morton. That's, you can send me a, um, sorry, I lost. Oops. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to say one thing to uh, anyone that sees this that feels that they don't know how to draw, so they feel like they can't draw. <laughs> I don't know how to draw either. This is my brother that painted this incredible fish. Um, and now that I have tried to draw, I can draw. <laughs> yeah, well. So it's, it's about, really, it's about just trying and just not even about trying to draw, but just to create just the idea of creating uh, and getting connecting with our with our soul and our room through our pencils whether it be in writing form or in with colors um, it's actually incredible to see how much we have inside of us that is at least for me that's that's ready to come forth um, and the only way to try is to pick up a pencil or a pen or whatever you have next to you. And I got, then I bought aquarelle paints and then I got into painting and then markers. And now I have like all this art stuff and, and this was me not drawing <laughs> right. at all. So it came from, it just came from nothing. And, and, and now I love drawing so much. <laughs> so anyone can draw. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> that because it could, you know, this isn't necessarily about making some like, you know, there's so many uh, misconceived notions about um, art and what it's supposed to be and to be good. Right. And guess what? It's, it's a process. It's, it's not any of that. It's about what feels good to you and what feels yeah. good to me. And we can set that critic aside that inner art critic right it's a challenge i have to do all the time when i'm creating art set that inner art critic aside and and because if that critic and the artist the creator doesn't live in the same world so that's true we have to get out of that critic art critic world in order to be able to be to create so there we go and one last word is just a big thank you sama for you you some, we don't always realize the impact that we have on other people's lives. And this whole womb thing <laughs> I've shared with so many women in circles. And it's just something that is just, it's, it's magical. And it's so, whenever I talk about feeding the blood or, you know, that you could enjoy your periods and it could be a, a time of, of, of pleasure um, it's a subject that, that triggers interest from, from, from all women and even like men, they, they'll make jokes about it or they'll, they'll, they could make fun of it, but it's also because they, they, 
but you can see that they're really curious and they want to understand and they're fascinated with this idea that you can actually enjoy your period, <laughs> which no one has ever heard of. Um, well, but luckily. yeah, I've actually, I've made, I've come, I've come a long way. I mean, I feel like I still have a long ways to go. I really, I am looking forward to steaming and then creating steaming workshops and, and sharing that with women. I'm, I'm, I'm bursting to do all this stuff. And it's really thanks to you because, um, yeah, you put me in touch with my womb and, and I'm really, really grateful for that. Beautiful. So I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, okay. Well, you're so welcome. You've planted lots of seeds. Yes. <laughs> thank you for joining me. On and the this. ripple keeps going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, yeah, I look forward to hearing from listeners who might want to get involved in this project or if you want to support the creation, um, but would not necessarily contributing artwork, but you'd like to support the creation of this Oracle deck you can find the Kickstarter campaign in the, in the description below as well and, um, and support the project. All right, that's all for now. Until next time.